is now indeed my pleasure to introduce a colleague of ours from the Winterless North up in Whangarei. Uh, he has been a contender with our championships for three or four, four years now, I believe. Thank you, David. His name is David Roy. Please welcome him. He is our 11th contestant. Well, it's been a long wait for the sale of this wonderful property. It's been a long wait out the back too, incidentally. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the Barfoot, this Barfoot and Thompson auction of 42nd Street, Kingsland. Brings back memories for me, as every day of my secondary schooling, I caught the train at Kingsland Station. In those, in those days, there were no cafes offering lattes, flat whites, mochaccinos and BB King in the background. Not even a cup of tea and a railway pie. My name's David Roy and I'm here to sell the property today. I want to thank our vendors and acknowledge our number one marketing agent, Yvonne Wang. She sells everything. Today we operate under the REINZ Best Practice Guide for Auctions. And if you are the lucky purchaser today, you'll be required to acknowledge receipt of the REAA Residential Sale and Purchase Agreements Guide. Let me outline today's program for you. Firstly, I'm going to take you to the contract. The legal information shouldn't come as any surprise. It's been available in the, in the marketplace for some time now. Then we're going to go through the conduct of the auction. And uh, I'm just going to summarise those conditions of sale for you. Uh, the property description will follow. It'll only be brief. I'm going to point out some of the features and just give you a little bit of background about Kingsland. And then the auction where I hand over to you. I'm here to sell, as I said, and my vendors want to see your competitive bidding. So let's go to the contract now and talk about the, uh, the, condition, the conditions of sale. So the property is 42nd Avenue in Kingsland. It's an estate in fee simple. The area is 405 square metres, more or less. Uh, lot 81, section 1. Uh, and deposited plan 171 of certificate of title NA608, folio 228. The chapels included are the stove, range hood, fixed floor coverings, light fittings, dishwasher, garage door opener, cooktop ovens, and blinds. It's a vacant position, and the settlement dates Friday the 10th of July, 2015. Interest rate for late settlement has been set at 15% and I would advise you to avoid that at all costs. It is uh, today being sold inclusive of GST with a 10% deposit. Now for the conduct of the auction today, my vendor has provided a reserve price which will remain confidential. However, if you are the highest bidder and we haven't met that reserve, I have been given instructions that you'll have the first right to purchase at my vendor's reserve if the property is passed in. The property will be sold subject to the reserve price and subject to that reserve price, the highest bidder will be the purchaser. In the unlikely event of a disputed bid, I'll simply put the property up for sale at the last undisputed bid and my decision on that will be final. I may refuse any bid, which in my opinion is not in the best interest of the vendor, and I may bid on behalf of the vendor in compliance with the Real Estate Institute uh, Best Practice Guide. If I am making a bid on behalf of the vendor, I'll make that absolutely clear to you uh, so there's no confusion and it will always be at a level below the reserve price. As I said, it's going to be inclusive of GST to sales, so what you bid is what you buy, what you bid is what you pay, and all bids will be deemed to be made on the bidder's personal account. We would um, prefer that no bid is withdrawn and the vendor reserves the right to withdraw the property from sale before it is sold without declaring the reserve price. The purchaser will do three things uh, when the contract hits my hand like that. Sign the contract, pay a 10% deposit in cleared funds, and complete the GST information in Schedule 1. And I always have great pleasure of signing on behalf of my vendors, which I do on many occasions. Kingsland, sort of got a nice round, nice sound to it, hasn't it? Nice ring to it. Trendy, groovy, hip, arty, and sporty. 
Look at her now. Kingsland Station, well, there was only probably, when I was uh, going off to school, there were probably only two trains a day on one line. Now, when the super city gets organised with the transportation, there will be two trains an hour. So all they've got to do is get the people to ride on them. But seriously, folks, Kingsland is the place to be. Thank goodness they didn't move the home of rugby, the hallowed ground. This real estate here is solid. It's great real estate. And in this area, the living is easy. 42nd Street's in a class of its own. Fully renovated and restored, lovingly renovated and restored by the previous owners. And they fell in love with the property just like no doubt you have. You can move in and enjoy this property. Great for the kids, good for the pets, and great parking. And it sounds sort of like an opportunity on uh, test match day at uh, Eden Park here. You might be able to do something with the parking, I'm not sure. But um, I thought there might be an opportunity there so close to Eden Park. And Kingsland's bred its fair share of legends. My mother went to school at uh, Kauai Primary School, and Rob Muldoon was in the same class. And one of those two was a legend. But I'll let you work out which one. So here we go. The time has come for the game to begin. I'm only the referee here. And I won't be calling on the video replay. When the whistle goes on the final bid at the fall of the contract on the palm of my hand, new owners will be found. Is that going to be you? Call me out your opening bit or offer for this great here. property. Uh, yes. Here, sorry, just a quick question. Uh, how can I be sure that the vendor will be able to discharge their mortgage at settlement and that their bank will allow them to settle? Uh, sir, yes, the uh, instruction is that um, they are able to do that. Um, so you'll be able to bid with confidence. <coughs> great, thanks. Good luck with your bidding today. Any further questions? I like the tricky ones if you've got any. Okay, well let's get underway, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants to start your way with an opening bid? Opening bid or offer for this wonderful property? Call me out your opening bids. In your hands now. The game's begun. We've started. There must be an opening bid or offer for this wonderful property in this great location. Start me away with an opening bid. Off we go. In your hands. I'm just the referee. $500,000. At $500,000 on my right, I have. At $500,000, we're going to go up in 50s. 50. At $500,000, $550, I have. $550 against you, sir. At $550, here, can I say $600? At $600,000. At $600,000, $650? At $600 over here on my right? Are you sure, man? At $600,000, well, bids back with me. I'll take the six fifty dollars on behalf of the vendor. At $650,000, dollars the next bid. At, at $700,000, I have on my left here. At $700,000, three horse race here. At $700,000, dollars $750,000. At $750,000, thank you, sir. At $750,000, eight hundred dollars the next bid. At $750,000, eight hundred dollars I'm looking for. At seven fifty dollars here on my right, calling it once, twice. Third call. 25. 775, sir? That's right. At 775. At 775. Who's got 800? Yep. At 800 down the back there. At 800. Sir? Once, twice. Third call. 10. 785. No, 810. Sorry? Sorry, I thought so, sir. At 810. At 810. <laughs> At 810. At 810. Here we go. Keep going, ladies and gentlemen. Keep moving. 810. 820. 820. At 820. Call it out clearly. 820, 830. At 830 over here. At 830. Who's got 840? 840 down the middle. Sir? Back here. Eight. At 840? 850. 850. At 850? At 850. At 850,000 dollars over here. 860 can I say? 860. At 860,000 dollars. At 860. Any further bidding? At $860,000, once, twice, Five. 865. 
At 865 on my right, at 865, who's going to move it along? 870? At 870. At 870 down the middle. Yep. Got 880? 875. I thought so. 875. At 875. At 875, I was just trying you out. 880? At 880. At 880 down the middle. At 880. What's? 885? 885. At 885. At 885. Sorry? 2.5. 885. 887 and a half. 887 and a half. Who's got 890? 5,000. 892 and a half? 892 and a half. 892 and a half. At 892 and a half. Two and a half. 895. At 8, 895. Confirm, thank you. At $895,000. At 895. No. 896. At 896. At 896, good contest. At $896,000. All done. At $896. Once, twice, third call. Two and a half. 898 and a half. Me too. At eight. 900 and a half. 901. 901, thank you, sir. At 901. At 9.01, at $901,000, one. at 902, at nine, 903, 904, 905, 6, 7, one. 8, 9, one. 909,000, once, twice, third call, at $909,000, At nine hundred and nine thousand dollars for want of another bid. At nine hundred and nine thousand dollars. Once, twice, third call at nine hundred and nine thousand dollars for forty second ad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, below my vendor's instruction at $909,000. Could you just pause for a moment? Just have a chat amongst yourselves. I'm just going to have a wee word. <coughs> G'day. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm excellent. <laughs> yep. Yep. Will you take $1,000 off your commission? Okay. <coughs> well, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. At $909,000, the property is on the market. We're selling away. This should uh, give you confidence. One. And 910. At 910 here. Yep. 911. 916. Good strong bidding. 906, yep. 916. 921? 921. 926. Is it? 926. At 926 over here on my left, bidding for the keys at $926,000. Once, twice, third and final call. Property is going, going, sold. Congratulations to our new owner. Thank you very much to our vendors and thank you ladies and gentlemen and also to our underbidders but thank you for uh, attending our Barfoot and Thompson auction today. David Roy, thank you. Thank you.